Hi there, this is T.R. Kelly for Stagecoach Road Sewing Machine, and right now I have got to show you a Singer 15-91. Now it doesn't say that anywhere on the machine, but trust me, I used to work for Singer. This is a 15-91. It's got a lot of distinguishing characteristics. Number one being the gear drive motor on the back. It's the same motor as the 201. Gear drive attached right to the upper shaft and the lower works. However, this machine works a little differently than the 201 because it is a class 15 oscillating bobbin. Goes back and forth like this rather than rotary in a full circle. Here's the light. If you want to use that, I'm going to turn it off for the video because it makes a little glare in the, in the lens there. This machine is uh, serial number AL597 is the starting numbers. That means this machine was built in 1953. The decals are still in very good condition. Of course it has some pin scratches and the normal marks of wear. There's a lot of what sewing machine people call pin rash right here. Someone had a piece of fabric wrapped around the arm of the machine and they stuck pins into it. Very common thing. I remember my grandma did that. So you've got some authentic pin rash right there. Um, class 15 machine, but the 1591, excuse me, I already got the bobbin case out. It uh, has a bobbin that goes in a bobbin case. Class 15. I already wound this bobbin, but uh, how I do that is over here through the bobbin tension and then up to the bobbin winder. I'm going to go ahead and thread the top right now. Spool pin, then through the notch here, and through the tension discs, and the check spring, up over that little notch right there, and the take up lever, down through this, and like the Featherweight 301 and the 201 101, this machine threads from right to left. The flat side of the needle is also on the left. And let's just go ahead and poke that through there. Put that thread between the toes and to the back. Now let's put the bobbin in the bobbin case. In this case, the thread is coming off to this direction. Put it in here. Back through the notch, under the spring, until it makes a click. And put it in, down here. And you can get to that through the, just till it clicks like that, close the lever. Turn the hand wheel towards you. On Singer machines, the wheel always turns towards you counterclockwise if you were looking at it from the end. And like that. I'm going to go ahead and turn on that light now. And let's go ahead and stitch some broadcloth here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put some shirting, really light shirting weight, two layers of fabric. Here's your stitch length over here. For fabric of this type, we'd put it at about 12 stitches per inch. And let me go ahead and show you that this machine has its original Singer foot controller. If you happen to pick up a Singer cabinet with a knee lever thing in it that pushes in your local thrift store, otherwise you can use this regular foot control. The wiring is all in good shape. Okay, let's just go ahead and push that button with the foot. And here we go, we're going forwards. A little bit longer stitch just for fun. And we'll look at what that stitch is looking like. Oh yeah, I want to show you this. This is really good. The 1591 has a reputation for being a really heavy duty machine, but it also can make a really nicely balanced stitch, even on two layers of this light cotton. Let's go ahead and throw some heavier stuff under it. Here's a piece of denim. 
let's just go ahead and start with four layers there. Long stitch length when you're sewing heavy fabric. Not a problem. Here's reverse. Like that. Reverse. Forward. And uh, four layers of denim is not any more difficult than two layers of shirting. And we still keep a nice balanced stitch. Let's fold that over again and call that eight layers of denim. It's a pretty high lift on this foot here. Normally when you sew heavy fabrics you want to have a heavy gauge needle which would be the higher numbers 16, 18, and 20 and a long stitch length. Go down here to six or eight stitches per inch. Hold the thread. Look at that. I'm not helping that. Reverse. Okay. Forward again. You want to be making like festival belts or fanny packs, sewing webbing, things like that. Here's the two, here's the bonded leather that I like to show. This is really dense stuff. Let's let the 1591 just go right through that here. Use that foot. Again, really not a problem for this machine at all. The gear drive motor, very heavy duty. Of course, if you want to sew saddle leather and stuff like that, you should get an industrial machine. But for garment leather, heavy denim, look at the balanced tension. Now we have gone from really lightweight shirting to denim to leather, and I have not had to adjust the tension. This machine is very forgiving that way. Um, the Legendary Singer 1591. If you have any more questions about it, please contact us. If you'd like to own this great machine, again, contact us. We'd sure like to see it be yours. It's, it's one of the best machines that Singer made. Regular Singer needles, class 15 bobbins. It's ready to ship to you. Thanks for watching today. Bye.